I'm a lonely girl in a lonely world. But there's no plastic. Nature is fantastic. Humor everywhere. Condors in the air. That's all I got so far. The first day of the O-Trek to Camp Serrano lacks features that have earned Patagonia its reputation. There are no glaciers, towering granite peaks, turquoise lakes and the like. You might say this portion of the hike is understated, but I found it to be a pleasant respite from the grandiose. On the hike to Camp Serrano, I found myself admiring the little things again, like the birds in a meadow or the leaves of a tree I had never seen before. This sense of tranquility was abruptly interrupted when Michelle thought she heard the rustling of a puma. This area of the world has some of the highest densities of pumas. Okay, a puma's coming. What are you going to do? One, do not run. They'll attack. Two, do not turn your back to them. Three, maintain eye contact. You have to be really loud and like make yourself bigger. I think I should make the disclaimer that this video is for entertainment. Please do not take advice from us. After departing Camp Serrano, we almost immediately encountered Lago Payne, a beautiful turquoise lake. The lake gives tribute to Rio Payne, which we followed for the remainder of the day roughly 8 miles, before being greeted by a small civilization at the southern tip of the world, Camp Dixon. Sometimes love The camp even has a small beach for cooling off after a long day's hike. I just hope that they maintain the feeling of isolation and wonder associated with this campsite and refrain from over-commercializing it. What does that sign say? Sendero los perros. Which translates to send it to the next campsite. <laughs> Alright, let's send it. Come on. The hike to Camp Peros is reminiscent of temperate rainforests in the Pacific Northwest, a rich biodiversity of moss, fern, and lichen. Rio Los Peros runs adjacent to the trail with impressive white water through narrow rock canyons. This is definitely the sketchiest bridge we crossed. Soon afterwards, we approached Glacier Peros and nearby Camp Peros. Today was a relatively short day of only four hours of hiking. We spent the remainder of the day absolutely vibing, eating, resting, chatting with other hikers. But by 8 p.m., most of the camp had gone to sleep in preparation for the following day. We were up by 4 a.m. on our quest to make it over John Gardner Pass by noon. As we ascended, surpassing the tree line, the forest behind us began to shrink. And then over the final ridge, we caught the first glimpses of Glacier Gray. There are some things that nothing can prepare you for. The feeling of seeing Glacier Gray for the first time is one of them. The remainder of the trail runs adjacent to the glacier and features spectacular open views. And as the trail descended, it brought us closer to the glacial surface, revealing its intricate detail of icy peaks and crevices. The suspension bridges over the three 50-meter gorges near Glacier Gray are considered by many a trek highlight. The bridges span over 170 feet in length and are a true feat of engineering. On the right of the bridge is the glacier, and on the left, towering granite peaks. The trail guided us away from the southern edge of Glacier Gray, the once enormous glacier beginning to look minuscule in our rear view. All that remained were orphan icebergs that had broken off from their parent. 
I always say that one of the highlights of the O-Trek is the people you meet, one of whom was a gentleman who'd completed the O-Trek 30 years prior and carried a photo of Glacier Grey from 1990. His images sadly corroborate the scientific narrative that glaciers all over the world are receding. It is now estimated that Glacier Grey is two kilometers shorter in length than it was in the year 1990. On our last day, we slowed our pace, cognizant that it was our final day of the trek. It was bittersweet. The sense of achievement associated with completing the O-Trek juxtaposed against the realization that every step brought us closer to the end of our journey. Already hit beers. I love it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's for our victory walk. <laughs> <laughs>